we call this briefing just to uh, bring you all to notice about what is the current situation there in the capital as you can see it's the third day of the so called band call given by uh, some progenitors and everything is uh, peaceful the law and order situation is perfectly normal we are uh, continuously patrolling the streets our arrangements police arrangements are in place there has been no report of any arson any violence or any sort of uh, damage to public property in these 3 days the band call was for 72 hours so uh, i think it is from the project side it is still 5 am tomorrow morning so uh, the prevailing situation is has remained peaceful is peaceful and will remain peaceful throughout Uh, also uh, we would also like to state some of the actions that the police has taken uh, against the anti social elements we've uh, booked under uh, we've booked around 35 people under uh, the apu apa and sent them to various parts of uh, uh, the state but more importantly in these uh, trying times we've helped around 60 to 65 people who were stranded here Uh, who wanted to go to the railway stations who wanted to go to the airports or who had landed at railway stations or landed at airport and they need to come here even across state borders people from dibrugarh or lakhimpur had to come here and they were not feeling uh, safe we escorted them from those places to itanagar also so medical emergencies uh, were also reported to us so we've sent our vehicles to help them out and send them to different medical centers uh it is very important to understand for all of us that band really does not benefit anyone more so the general populace because i think you all are here you all continue to do the work that you do every day we are here we also do the same work that we do every day day in and day out yes that's true that we have to we have to deploy more personnel but we have enough personnel on the ground to deploy we can call for help from outside the state also so our jobs are uh, the same they remain the same throughout we also had meetings with uh, the market welfare associations also so what we got to know and it's it's common knowledge that whoever gets impacted the most should raise a voice against these bands and those people are the common populace now they cannot move out just not because there is any security issue but because there is a fear that is that is inherent and nobody is blaming them because of the times that they have seen in the past for couple of years but this time we are trying to bring uh, an attitudinal transformation in the way that the police and the administration views the band culture and that is why we are on the front foot asking people requesting them to defy this because ultimately it's the market association people who lose the money ultimately it is those people who the common populace who want to go to different places for their daily jobs those are uh, getting affected people who want uh, who want to buy things from markets who want to get things for their daily needs those are the people who are getting affected so i mean it's it's just a thought that even the band callers should also think that if they want to call a band with the intent that they are helping some people out i don't think that is happening i don't see that happening uh, ultimately the common citizen for whom the band callers are fighting for as is as this is the thing that they say the common citizen is the only person so as to say which is getting the most impacted so it is my appeal it is my request firstly to all the band callers that there are different different ways to raise your demands and the government is also ready to address your demands so please do not try to force bands i'm also uh, referring here to the 3 day band that is called now that has been called by some section of society to they want to extend this for another 3 days i want to appeal to them that whatever damage 
or whatever suffering they've caused to the common populace in these three days, it's out for everybody to see. So I would request them not to extend it. And the second appeal I would want to make is to the common citizens that you've suffered, en suffered enough and even if you support the bun callers in your hearts for the issues that they are raising, this is probably not the correct way to go about it and you are the guys who are really getting affected because of it. So I request them to come out in huge numbers for their daily needs. Uh, they can come, the market, we've spoken to market association, they're also ready to open markets, though in a gradual way, they will do it uh, of their own accord. Uh, we provided them security, we promised them that no harm shall come to them if they want to open and same request I'm or appeal I'm putting out to the common populace also that you can come out uh, to the streets, nobody's stopping you. Section 144 is in place, yes, but as I have continuously repeated, it is in place for those people who want to come out and create trouble for the general populace, for the genuine citizens of 